Um. Hi, I'm Mark Pfeiffer, and I'm going to show you how to debone a turkey. The first thing is, you got to have the right music. So, the first thing you do with your sharp knife is you slice open the back. And all that does is open up. You can see the meat and you start to scrape it away from the bone. That's why you need a sharp knife. And you keep doing that on both sides of the, of the back until you get down to the first bone, which will be the wing bone. And we'll be back when we get to the wing bone. Okay, so now I'm getting towards the bone here. And you can kind of see the wing bone moves around in there. You're going to separate that by cutting all the little tendons that connect it. And once that's off, then you can get underneath it. Keep scraping it close to the bone. See, I got the thigh back here. This is why you need a sharp knife. Kind of move it around. And you can feel where it's going to get cut. Sliding the knife under the skin to get it the back away. I've got the pretty much all of the thigh disconnected. You can see it's starting to fall away from the bone. And you just got to keep following your knife down the meat, like this. It doesn't have to be pretty because it's all going to be wrapped up later. And I'm just scraping the bottom of the breastbone there, trying to get as much of this stuff off as I possibly can. Do a little bit on each side. Some people like to do one side and the other. I like to do both sides at the same time. A little bit of each. Okay, so one thing I forgot to mention while I was doing this is I try and keep one hand on the bird, one hand in the knife. I'm lefty, so you can use your own hand, but as I get down to the bottom, the bone is going to meet the skin. So you've got to scrape that away really carefully and just a little bit at a time. That's probably the most critical part. And you just flay it back. Just continue to pull it and flay it and pull it and flay it. And you do that on both sides until you get the whole thing free. And just keep it as close to the bone as you possibly can without going through the skin. And we'll flip it over. Do the same thing over here. The skin, the, the flesh will almost peel away from the, from the bone. The knife just kind of helps it. And then you start to pull up. And you pull up a little more. So, start to get that. Try not to get any skin. I gotta get some more on the back. So you just keep prying it away until you get it all. Being careful never to go through the skin. 
if you left something like a bone in there or something you can always take it out later but you can't make the skin pretty again so go for it okay so we're almost free the last part of it is coming out I've cut all the way on the bottom I've cut around the back here and like I said, if I left a bone in there or something, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Now this is the nice thing. You can put this right in to make stock and you can use it for gravy later on. So you've got a, a great bone there. And you've got water on the stove. We're starting there. Now the next thing that you have to do is you want to get the thigh bones out. And they're right here. And you just kind of start to scrape away. Same thing that you've been doing. And you just want to get that big bone out of there. So you start to scrape down the meat and free it up. And once you have it free, you can kind of just come around it a little bit. And just continue to peel, peel it down. And slow and steady is better. You don't have to be fast with it. And the idea is to peel that meat down. It doesn't matter how it looks because really it's just going to become like a big roll of turkey. And you want to get it all the way down. Eventually you'll get to the knuckle and then you can cut it out. See now there's the knuckle right there. And I just work my bone, my knife in there, around the edge of that, and it'll come out. And there, there's another bone, whoops, another bone, go into the pot. There you go, in the pot. Uh, while this was all going on, my wife Janet was making stuffing. Uh, we have essentially what is a book of turkey here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the stuffing, form it into what used to look like the chest cavity, and then we're going to pick it up and kind of sew it up. So you start that. You want to cool your, your uh, stuffing a little bit so that it doesn't cook the bird. This is still kind of warm, but I took it outside and stirred it around a little bit. And you, you can put a significant amount in there. Now, I've salted and peppered the, the meat so that it gets all the flavor from the inside, which is kind of a neat thing. That's one of the nice things about this. Now, we just use packaged. We like it. That's our way of doing things. So you can see I'm kind of, you know, making a bigger bowl where the breast was and going down the sides a little bit, making it nice and round. And it's all going to fit. Wow. Okay, now, here's where your helper comes in, because we're going to pick this up and we're going to wrap it around the turkey. So go ahead, I'll just hold Do it. you want me to hold from yeah, here? Just like that, perfect. So then what I do is I come up here and I use these skewers and I just kind of start to sew it. careful because uh, I've poked myself many times and I kind of got the hang of it. I gotta really pull the skin up. Okay. 
and some may fall out, but you can always put that in later. So you need butcher's twine for the next part of this, and that's just to make sure that this all kind of stays together. And I use about six feet of it for the back. Um, that seems to work reasonably well. Now that I'm, I'm on camera, we'll see how it goes. And I just kind of crisscross it in here and uh, try and make sure that these things stay like this. bottom and you can just tie that off. Plain knot's fine. You don't have to get too fancy. Now you'll have some extra left over. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this bad boy over gently like this. And you can see it looks like a very svelte turkey right now. You can kind of shove everything up there. Nice bunch of fat in there. And we're going to skewer it again. I need my helper again. What do you want me to do? I need you to bring it all kind of together. Oh. Like that. There you go. Oh, Thank cut you. that thing out. Oh. That's good. That's good. good. <laughs> Come on now. Oh. <laughs> Every year. <laughs> Well, I actually did better this year because usually I cut myself and then I'm operating with a glove on and not much fun. So I try and close that all up the best I can. I take that little extra string. Okay, I'm good. Thanks. Just go up and around there. Do you tie the drumstick feet together? Yep. Okay, hang on, hang on. Right. okay, so we've got it all in the pan. Put a little tin foil by the wings because they we don't want them to burn on the edge. Uh, cover it, just cook this just like you would a normal turkey. Put the cover on, bring it around, pop it in your oven at 325, and wait for the goodness. And here's how it looks. When it comes out. Alright, so here we are finally with you taking it off the nifty lifter. A little bit of help. I'm gonna pick it up and it comes out like this. And since we're ready to cut it. Get a front side there. Why? And that's what we've been waiting for. Happy Thanksgiving.